Good morning, guys. I hope you are all well. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Good Morning Tottenham Away Monday episode. I am indeed a little bit worse for wear, guys. I'm not going to lie, I've had a good weekend. And today I'm feeling it slightly. So the video's come out a little bit later than as usual. Um, let's get into it. Hence why I'm being a bit quieter than normal. Um, <clears throat> so of late, it looks like um, we're getting a little bit closer to signing David Raya. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm excited about this signing. Um, although I'm keeping it calm at the moment because it hasn't yet officially got the here we go from Fabrizio Romano. But what Fabrizio has said is that Raya is now close to agreeing personal terms with Tottenham. Tottenham are now on the verge of reaching an agreement with David Raya on personal terms. A uh, long-term contract almost agreed after positive talks. Raya is uh, open to Spurs move, but club-to-club -club talks will, will be crucial. A £40 million pound fee asked by Brentford is currently considered too high by Spurs. Um, Raya, who's conceded more, um, uh, more goals from outside the box than any other keeper um, last season, but did lead the way for saves, making 254 um, from 197 on target. It left them the highest save percentage and the most clean sheets from, for any team with less than 19 wins. Um, we know for, for <clears throat> that Brentford have already signed a replacement keeper, so they're clearly very keen to um, sell or certainly to do business with whoever wants Raya um, in, so that they know already they're going to depart with um, with with their own keeper, so they we, Ray is definitely moving on. It's just getting that agreement in between the two clubs in place when personal agreements have already been been done. So Ray is very much um, from his point of view a Spurs player, but it's just a waiting to see what the fee will be. Forty million is considered high considering he's only on the last year of his contract. So um, that remains to be seen. That. Listen, me personally, guys, the way I see it is we want someone just go and get him. Go and get him. So I, I can't stress out enough, and I've done this in previous many videos already, I can't stress out enough the importance of getting a very good goalkeeper. And this is a very good goalkeeper in the very height of his career. He's 27 years old. Uh, he's ready. And I, I truly believe he's going to be, um, with all due respect to all the other Spanish internationals currently, and I think he's good enough to be take the number one spot and make it his own regularly at the moment. Um, but, we, you know, that's that's Spain's um, issue. But for me, he is a guy that's at the top of the, top of his game currently. So it'd be interesting to see how this unfolds. Um, there's other players that we're currently linked to. I think um, Postacoglu is really... Um, uh, Kyogo from Celtic, who scored something like 26, 27 goals this season for um, Celtic, is somebody that, for me, we should be looking into. A hungry player, um, and one that could do really well at Spurs, and particularly not knowing what's going to be happening with um, with Harry Kane, it'd be important to have someone in, um, perhaps as a as a as a as an understudy, maybe or or. or I know Richarlison will be favourite to take the number nine spot should um, Kane be leaving, but I think an understudy is very important to come in or somebody that can come, throw on off the bench. Like I said, it wouldn't be too expensive to buy, but a young, hungry player who's scored twenty, like I said, twenty six, twenty seven goals, albeit in a, in a, in a, in a Scottish Premier League. And I don't mean no disrespect, it's just coming into the Premier League is completely different and ha that has to be taken into consideration. So, um, I believe though, to get in the business done early, um, the manager doesn't start officially to the 1st of July, but I think he'll be in there already um, making waves inside the club right now. And I also, um, one thing I am looking forward to um, for next season, and listen, these are the things I'm looking forward to. Whether they happen or not will be remain to be seen. I'm, I'm completely, um, I'm not, um, I know what our club can be like. So, but these are the things I'm looking forward to next season is that 
perhaps will start taking the cup competitions a little bit more seriously. Yeah. Certainly, Postacoglu has done that at the club. Um, but I look forward to seeing that hopefully happen at Spurs and in the hope that Daniel Lee doesn't interfere um, with what we should be taking seriously or not. Um, top four for me is going to be a massive ask next season. So this is why I'm thinking more so that we will start taking the cup competitions a little bit more seriously. Um, for sure, we have to be doing that. Um, but also it has to be said, in regards to transfer of players coming in, we have to really start working on players going. Only then we can start taking seriously um, what is happening for next season when steps are made to, to get rid of players that have been there a little bit too long. Thinking about Dyer, Davies, Sanchez um, and uh, other players that have just nothing left to give at Tottenham, I have to say. Uh, and for me, the next season, I want to see hungry players who want to play for Spurs, who want to be at Spurs and have something to give um, because they are new and they want to bring a, a new era, a new generation of players that are going to take hopefully Tottenham to the next step. And the next and the next step has to be um, has to be has to be well. Trophies would be nice, always well welcome, but it has to be. You have to want to see progress. You have to want to see the club not stop being stale. That's the one thing I want to see. I want to see growth. Um, Whatever that will be, we'll have weeks and months before the new season starts to to discuss that. Perhaps starting from tonight, a Monday Night Live, 8.30pm on Tottenham Away Channel. Lock it in, guys. Uh, we'll be discussing that for sure. And But we still need to get these signings happening, especially regarding the goalkeeper. Let me know your thoughts, guys, um, in the comments below like the video subscribe to the channel by the way this is this good morning tottenham away videos will start going on the main channel so head over to the tottenham away main channel subscribe there of course subscribe to our um tottenham away 2 channel which will have a name change very soon and we'll have much other content there world we're going to be talking football outside of tottenham on that channel as well, what's going on in in, in 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 the foreign leagues? So stay tuned to that one there, because it's going to be very very interesting stuff, content going on there. And we shall see you tonight, eight thirty p.m. on Monday Night Live. As always, forever always, come on, you Spurs. <laughs>